Okay, today we're going to be looking at modifying uh, your interactive command prompt, which is this thing right here. Uh, by default on a lot of systems, it will give you something like your username and the host name and possibly the folder you're in, followed by the dollar sign if you're a regular user, or pound for or number symbol for uh, root users. Um, but you can modify that. Uh, basically by changing some system variables uh, and the system variable for that is PS1. So let's have a quick look at how we can change that. All we have to do is go export PS1 oh, one equals, so we're modifying uh, that uh, variable PS1 and we can put in something like hello world And as you can see, I now have a prompt that shows up like that, regardless of what folder I'm in. So I can go to my root folder or my temp folder and it still shows the same. Now there are some uh, default little things you can throw in there to, to modify that. Let's say you did want to have your host name there. We can say export ps1 equals and we can do backslash h and then uh, however you want to end it we can do a little uh, greater than symbol then and a, I like to put a space there so it isn't right up on that we'll hit enter and now you can see it says metal which is my host name and also my username uh, so I can also throw my username in there by typing out the same thing but we'll say backslash u and we'll say at backslash h so username and uh, uh, host name which as I said in my case are both metal and metal um, and another option you can do is throw in a uh, backslash w w which will give you your current directory uh, so I can go to my root directory I can go to temp I can make a new directory called new dir, and if I go into that new dir, it will say here that I am in new dir. And obviously you can use different combination of these, and I'm sure there's there's probably other uh, little backslashes that you can throw in there um, to get more other, to get more options, different options. Um, so that's modifying PS1. Now you notice that uh, by default on my Linux Mint system, things are color coded a little different. Um, and that's using escape characters. And I've touched on that in the past, not heavily, because I don't really know it that well. And I may touch on it in the future, but we're not going to go over that in this tutorial. Now, let's look at something else that happens when you're uh, working from the command line, and it's the PS2. Um, the PS2 basically is, let's say I say echo and I say hello ah, world but I forget to close my parentheses or I purposely don't close my parentheses so I can type stuff on the next line like this is a test and you notice that the line gives me a little waka waka as some people call it a, but I call it a greater than symbol and obviously if I still don't close my parentheses it will go down to or sorry quotations it will go down to the next line and I'll just type new line and then I'll close my quotations I'll hit enter and you can see it it printed all that out well the PS2 is this symbol here it's the second line or third line the ongoing lines in your command so if I was to do something like export PS2 equals, now I can modify what that uh, little symbol looks like or what it says, and I can just put new line greater than, and I'll put a little space there, I'll hit enter. So now I'm typing, I can say echo, hello, and you can see when I hit enter, that new prompt says new line, and I can say world. And I can say test films by Chris dot com. And I'll close the quotations there. And we go back after it prints out all that information here to our new PS1 that we created earlier. So that's modifying the prompts there.
And once again, there are options to color code things differently. And there are probably other special characters be be besides um, username, host name, and uh, your full path name. And once again, those were, let's just scroll back up here, backslash u for user, backslash h for home name uh, or host name, and backslash w for current working directory. Um, the little at symbol here was just the little at symbol that I have between my host name and my username. We can put anything there. We can do um, a couple of dollar signs. Ooh, let's see what happens there. Heh, yeah, that doesn't work because I'm using double quotes. Let's change those to single quotes. Same output. Interesting. Well, let's just put a dash. There we go. That works. Um, so, yeah. That's a quick look at changing your command prompts for PS1 and PS2 on the Bash uh, environment. And this does work in other terminal emulators. It's not uh, specific to GNOME Terminal. If I open up Xterm and I type out the same thing. Sorry, that's so small there. I don't think I can make that bigger, or at least I don't know how to. We'll say export PS1. Remember, it is case sensitive. Hello world. And we'll hit enter. And there now my prompt is hello world. So I can cd to another directory. Obviously, you'd want to put some sort of space or special character there so that you can uh, define stuff. You can also do stuff like date and time, just throwing in variables in there. But that's it. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. And like I said, in the future, I may throw in how to do some color code stuff. If that's something you're really interested in, go ahead and comment below. If I get enough uh, comments, I'll definitely look into it. I do have some notes on it. It's just not something I do regularly, so I don't know how to do it off the top of my head. But thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Please visit the links in the description and visit filmsbychris.com. It's Chris with a K. Have a great day.